Dominion Voting Systems and Fox News have reached a nearly $800 million settlement. The company accused the network of defaming it by pushing false 2020 election claims. The settlement means the case will no longer go to trial, which was set to start Tuesday. Let's bring in one of the lead attorneys representing Dominion Voting Systems, Davida Brooke. Nice to be with you. Um, Davida, let's start with why you chose to settle. We had two goals in bringing this litigation, and they were accountability and justice for our client. And we feel like we had achieved those two goals by the time we signed that settlement deal with Fox at the end of the day today. Accountability came a few weeks ago when the judge, this court behind me, ruled that the lies that were told about Dominion were clearly just that. And the icing on the cake was Fox News Today finally recognizing that in their statement and paying Dominion a historic settlement amount. The statement from Fox News was uh, they kind of backed into it um, and did a, a version of uh, mistakes were made as if the company were, were not necessarily uh, involved. Were you satisfied with the statement? It could have been a lot stronger. You know what? The folks at Fox are big boys and girls, and they can say whatever statement they want in the future to recognize what they did and what this court found. But we think that the dollar figure that they agreed to today speaks for itself. I believe it might be the single largest defamation award that I'm still the largest defamation settlement in the history of our country and is a truly historic amount, too, when compared to amounts that Fox has paid out in the past. The reason I ask is because on that accountability question, it seems that the strength of the Fox statement goes more to accountability because people get people pay to get rid of problems all the time. But it's having to speak plainly. The CEO of Dominion said Fox has admitted lies. But it's hard to read anything that Fox actually says as a clear admission of lies. That would seem to undermine one of those two pillars you were talking about in terms of public accountability for th what they've done. We have a fantastic opinion from this court that makes it crystal clear what Fox did and why they did it in our view. And so today was a little bit about the other side of that coin and a side that not a lot of folks have had the opportunity to focus on, which is the people of Dominion voting systems. I know we were all looking forward to this trial and what it meant in terms of what we were going to learn about the folks at Fox News, but it also meant that a group of people from Dominion were going to have to come out to Delaware and relive the very, very real trauma that they all went through, not just two and a half years ago, but for the past two and a half years. And today, this settlement, it brought them peace. Was a statement under discussion, it just didn't happen? Again, Fox is free to say whatever they want to say about this case and about what was uh, and about what they did to Dominion. We think that the information that the court put forth in its summary judgment opinion, which they finally acknowledged today, is the accountability that we needed. What, what in the case and all of the findings and all of the work that you did gave you the most confident, uh, confidence that you would have been successful? Uh, and obviously, Fox thought you were going to be successful too, which is surely a motivation for settling. What made you most confident? I I think the world got to see the documents, which is another reason why we felt comfortable with our decision today. They saw the inner workings of Fox. They saw what the Fox talent and hosts and reporters and producers thought about this case to themselves in private when they thought nobody was looking. Fox is now facing also a very similar defamation lawsuit from a different voting machine company, Smartmatic. Are you how does that work? Do you sh are you willing sh to share? Would, do you share anything with Smartmatic, or is it now because so much of it's public, they can do with it what they want? I am not involved in the Smartmatic litigation. That said, my client, Dominion Voting Systems, has multiple other lawsuits that they are litigating relating to the lies that were told about them in 2020, including against Newsmax, One America and various other individuals. So when in the press conference, your team alluded to other legal action, was that other legal action to other individuals or is there anything more to be said in legal action with respect to Fox? Our case against Fox is over as okay. of today, but we're still in this very courthouse with a case against Newsmax. Busy times and we're very appreciative of you being here. Davida Broke, thank you so much.
thank you.